Hi everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna kind of show you how you can find anything in Daisy. Well, I'm not really show you exactly how to find it. I can point you in the right direction of where to start looking. And also very importantly, tell you where you shouldn't be looking for these particular things. Um, and this might be of particular use really just to beginners. Um, if you've been playing the game a while, you, 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 know, you, you know where to stuff is. Because there is so much loot in Daisy, there's so many different types of items. You <laughs> tell you what, that is a really funny picture. That it would be nice if you found shelves like this that had food on them, had a backpack, had a gas uh, can there. There's some trousers. Look, there's a pepper. But what you might find, you'd find one of these things. So. How do you know where stuff is? Um, well, I've done videos previously, and you can go back through them on how to find compasses, how to find food and drink, that sort of stuff. But this is where you, you're trying to... You, maybe there's something specific you want to find. Um, and the way to do it is if you go to Bohemia Interactive's GitHub um, depository for DayZ, their central economy one, and I'll put links in the description down below. And if you go into the Daisy Offline Chernerus part of it, and then go into DB, and then click on the Types file. Now, it's quite a long file, quite a big file. Maybe I'd recommend um, downloading the whole thing. If to if, if you want to download the whole thing, I'll show you, actually. You click there, and you download the zip, and that will download everything so you can look at it uh, on your local PC. But if you don't, if you load the file, you'll end up with this thing. And this is the types.xml. Um, and what this does is this file tells Daisy where it should spawn things into the world. So what happens with Daisy is you it, it's it's running on a server, so it's running on a computer, and that server is going right. Okay, I can. Uh, where should I spawn the tents? Where should I spawn the guns? Where should I spawn the the tins of spaghetti how many of them should there be and this is what types does it says right okay so if we take for example a medium tent so a medium tent there should be 10 of them on the server and its category name is a container and i want you to spawn it in towns and villages so this is how you find some so if we take that a step further then the central loot economy, which is the, the name of kind of the, the program that within Daisy that dishes out all the loot and spawns it all in. Um, and, and again, I'll put a link to this down in the description below, below, gives tags to everything. So we know our tent is classed as a container. And uh, what else did we say? Um, and it spawns in towns and villages. So we can actually go to a list of buildings within Daisy. And we can go down to it'll be near the bottom one at T and V. So here, here's all the town buildings you should be looking in. And what you can do is on this page, if we click on like the pub, and we scroll down a bit, down here underneath the picture, it tells you what types of stuff may spawn inside the pub. You've got weapons, you've got clothes, you've got containers, food, and tools. So we know that it's worth looking in the pub. Probably more important, what this is telling you is, if you want to find a tent, a medium tent, don't look in uh, the industrial areas. Don't look in the farms. You want to be looking, you know, in the towns. The medium tent's really small. You know, it's it's like a, like a two-person tent. It's a really small tent. Um, and you can go through it that way. So, if you want to look at something else, if I click on the right button. Let's have a look for something like I don't know where should we look. Um, let's close that. Say an axe. So if we type Control F, that'll bring up the the find box, and we just type axe. So wood axe. There we go. So wood axe. So let's have a look. So there should be seventy of them in a normal server. Um, it's classed as a tool. And axes are found in industrial buildings, farm buildings, and village buildings. So we can go back to um, here, and we go, oh, right, okay, industrial. So it's alphabetical, this industrial. There we go. So we've got all the industrial buildings, so sheds, 
red tin sheds, large, small yellow garages. Because just because it's industrial doesn't mean it's just the industrial parts, you know, like the um, the cement factory and stuff like that. It's things like the sawmill, the garage office, the red garage rows. You could find an axe there, perhaps. And if we click on that, you can then see um, clothes, containers, tools, and that's and that's car parts. And what was the other thing they said? They said farms and villages as well. Um, but not notice you'll, it's not military um, or hunting or coast. So you won't find stuff in those sort of locations. So here we go. Let's go down the bottom again. So there's village. So you would find axes there. Um, now remember that the names that um, Bohemia Interactive, the developer Pine Daisy, give things in their types file don't always match the names in the game. Sometimes they're different. For example, if we were to take uh, the, um, the 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 La rifle, if we look for the La rifle, uh, we won't be able to find it. So we'll find binoculars, gift box large, but we won't. The La rifle is called the FAL. There we go, in here. And the FAL happens. If you see something that says DE loot, means that it's a helicopter crash site one. Another example would be the revolver, which if we look for revolver, there isn't any. The revolver is actually called the Magnum. Uh, think is it mag I thought it was let's start at the top Dunk. oh actually I tell you what it is called the Magnum what it is the um, Daisy loot economy <laughs> this file hasn't been updated to 1.09 yet see it says new 1.08 I am so 1.08 1.09 will be here soon um, what's another example the mp5k mp5k there we go so it's not called the mp5k in the game it's the other submachine gun i can't remember what it's called but but there we go so just watch out for watch out for things like that so there we go that's how you find stuff in days anything in stuff daisy i know it's probably a little bit deep this but you look up what it is look up its usage and it, oh sorry one final thing i should have said mp5k's maybe remember that let's have a look for the m4a1 so the M4A1 rifle, um, it's usually his name is military, as you'd expect. So if we go to these here, so these are all the military places, watchtowers, guard sheds, shipwrecks classed as military, mess hole, sandbag nest, etc. However, also when you look on here, it's got a tier category on it as well. So it's a weapon. It's tier three and tier four. Now this is an old this is an old um, map, but as you can see, the, these color codes, tier one is along the coast, tier two is in the middle, tier three is kind of in the northwest, and tier four is kind of around, you know, Tizzy and that sort of area. Now this is an old, this is very old. This is from 0.6, so it's probably been changed since then but it roughly gives you an idea that if you're looking for m4 assault rifles you want to be up in the northwest part of the map at military bases and military installations so there we go hopefully that's useful um hopefully i hope you find stuff i know it's it, i can never tell you exactly where to find things i can just point you in the right direction because loot as well is very very rare if we were to go back and look at um those m4s there's only ever 10 of them on a um server at any one time anyway so it's very difficult to find stuff so you might well not find what exactly what you're looking for but you might find something else you might find an ak or a ka as it's called in the game um or you might find a nice submachine gun or a nice sniper rifle or something like that instead but hopefully you find that useful i know it's a bit of a deep dive that into finding stuff but if you use that method basically you, you can be pointed in the direction of anything in daisy okay so if you'd like me to do any videos where i look i kind of use this process to for specific things then let me know in the in the comment section down below because they're relatively easy and quick to do these but i think they're pretty useful as well because again it's not always a case of showing exactly where to look it's also showing you where not to look 
So if you find the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.